k-means cluster analysis in SPSS is one of the method uh, that partition data or data set that have several variables in it and few hundreds to thousands of cases partitioning these data set into um, groups or clusters the data within each one of these group or cluster is similar and they are centered around the mean of that cluster and each cluster is distant from another clusters and the data set within one cluster is dissimilar from the data set in another cluster so this analysis allows large data with several variables and several hundred hundreds or thousands of cases to be classified into certain groups or clusters from two clusters and onward here in this SPSS data view this data here contains several variables and three thousands clients the first variable is the sex whether the client is male or female uh, the second variable is the marital status which is whether the uh, client is married or single education uh, level of education whether he or she have a G, G, um, um, CSE or bachelor or master degree type of professions they have the age of individual the salary they earns uh, yearly uh, the debt they have um, in their on, on their account uh, members family how many individuals are in their family and years of employment and satisfaction which is measured on a scale from one to ten so six marital status education professions are nominal data age scale debt family um, members years or scale data continuous data and satisfaction are ordinal to classify these set of data in this case using one two three four five six six variables with the three thousand cases into clusters uh, then k means cluster analysis will be performed in spss the first step to do the cluster analysis is to standardize the variables as these variables are measured at different scales the scale for the age is different from the scale for salary to uh, standardize the six variables click on analyze then descriptive statistics click on descriptive select the six variables age salary debt family years of employment and satisfaction and move them to the variables take the save standardized value as variables click on ok and a table is generated here uh, showing the mean minimum and maximum and standard deviation for each of these variables and we have here three three thousands uh, participants or oh, the um, software will generate six variables uh, standardized variables based on z score uh, standardized age salary dates family years of employment and satisfaction so these data are now ready to be entered into the cluster analysis and to perform that click on analyze scroll down to classify and then select k means cluster in this new window 
select the standardized variable which are six here with the satisfaction move it to the variables the number of clusters can be set as two or three or four or more click on iterate and in the maximum change that to 99 click on continue click on save and then select cluster membership as we need the membership of each case and the distance from the cluster center click on continue click on options select in the option statistics for initial cluster center ANOVA table cluster information for each case and then click on exclude cases pair wise click on continue and I am going to set the number of clusters into three clusters here and then click on OK few tables are generated the first table here is the initial cluster center so three clusters have been produced and the data set that we have six variables 3000 cases has been uh, classified into three groups uh, based on the Z score for each of these variables and the value here uh, shows the center of the cluster or the mean of the cluster for cluster one cluster two and cluster three the next table is the iteration history and it shows the process of classifying data into clusters and with changes uh, in the cluster centers as the iteration increases until eventually it reach a zero at iteration number 16. The third table is cluster membership which shows that client number one has been classified uh, and included in cluster three and the distance which is how far is this uh, a case or clients from the center or the mean of this cluster uh, case number two or client number two belong to cluster two and it is 0.8 uh, far from the mean and case number four uh, is part or has been classified and included in cluster number one and it is 0.11144 from the center or the uh, mean of the cluster so each case or client is being assigned to specific cluster from cluster one to two to three all the three thousand thousands um, clients or cases being assigned a cluster the next table is showing the distances between final cluster centers this table shows how far or how distance these three clusters from each other shows that cluster one is 2.4 away from cluster two and cluster one is 3.1 uh, distance from cluster three so there is a good distance between cluster one and cluster three but there is not good separation between cluster two and cluster three and there is a good separation between cluster two and one and two and three the next table is the ANOVA table that shows the contribution of each of these variables into the cluster what does this table shows how much of these variable contribute to clustering by looking at the f ratio the higher the f ratio the better this variable in partitioning the highest f factor here is 169 which is the years of employment is a good variable in clustering 
the next one is the uh, debt which is 15168 and the third one is the uh, uh, z score for satisfaction and so on so this tables shows that uh, which factors contribute to the clustering the final table is the number of cases in each cluster we have here three clusters cluster number one two and three and it shows that there is nearly similar number of clients or cases classified into the to these three cluster cluster one has 926 cluster two has 1092 and cluster three have 982 clients in it so this analysis had classified partitioned the data we have which has six variables and three thousands clients into three major clusters we could also partition the data to have four clusters in it rather than three and you just change this into four and click on OK and again things will be recalculated here as shown in this part which shows four clusters in the iteration history and in the initial cluster center shows four clusters and it shows the mean for each cluster for standardized score these are the four clusters and the iteration uh, history ends up at iteration number nine and these cases or clients are reassigned clusters based on the new the um, settings or changes and here as we can see the final cluster centers shows that the mean for each uh, cluster uh, based on the ages the salary the dates and the rest and from these clusters one to four for the ages it shows that cluster number three have the oldest clients in it cluster number one has the second uh, oldest cluster number um, four has uh, younger individuals and cluster two have the youngest clients in the clusters and for the salary again uh, cluster number three have uh, the highest earner who earn have earned more money and their salary is higher uh, cluster one is the second and cluster um, uh, number uh, four is uh, the uh, third um, rank in the salary and finally uh, the lowest salary is for cluster two so from these data it can be with confidence said that cluster three have uh, the oldest clients in it the highest salary the highest debt the higher family members and uh, the uh, higher number of years of employment and the higher satisfaction uh, the next table again it's uh, as it's explained before four clusters and measuring the distance between clusters and here in the final table here for number of cases in each cluster uh, cluster number one has 500 cluster two 1000 three 500 and four uh, 900 so this is uh, these cluster doesn't have equal number of uh, clients if we move to the variable view it is shown here that uh, when we have four clusters and three clusters the four clusters here is shown that client number one 
uh, is assigned to cluster number one. Uh, client two is assigned to cluster two and client three to cluster one and client four to cluster four and so on. And uh, it shows also here um, how far is this uh, client in cluster number one uh, from the mean. It is 0.7 uh, far from the mean and uh, for client number two it is in cluster two and it is 0.78 from the center. To uh, check whether there is an outliers in these data and to draw a box plot, click on graph, chart builder, click on OK, select box plot, select this uh, box plot uh, template, then move the distance to the Y axis and the cluster number, which are four clusters into um, the X axis, click on OK and uh, uh, box plot is generated for the four clusters and the distance of cases from uh, classification, classification cluster is given on Y axis. If we look here at cluster three, it shows that it has few uh, outliers and these outliers ought to be either removed or uh, dealt with. So this is the way to uh, perform K-means cluster analysis in SPSS uh, 